Hey, oh, mate. How are you doing? You're running seventh, Gareth. Well done. Hello and welcome. So, week out from London Marathon, uh, from the the last dance, um, the final long run, the big day, whatever you want to call it. So, just got back from my 15 mile Sunday long taper run um, and delaying going out and recording because I'm just watching finish a uh, Manchester Marathon. So, I've got Naomi on floor doing some stretching um, and this is the current living room setup so we've got Manchester Marathon on TV and then we've got the bike workshop as well uh, in the living room so it will look a bit flickery because GoPro is not great and this is Naomi's state-of-the-art fan setup um, with a time trial bike set up watching uh, the TV this morning She's been out and done four mile with Ruby and Bessie, I believe. Have you? Yeah, we went through across the field, found some cows. Uh, across the field, found some cows and got some Very shoes muddy. muddy. So, yeah, just watching winners come through on Manchester Marathon. Um, a race I've done loads of times. Um, course has changed little bits and pieces over years, but yeah, probably the flattest marathon in the UK, really. Um, other than Boston, which claims to be the flatter in Lincolnshire, which is also today. But yeah, I'll uh, catch up with you after we've watched winners cross the finish line here. Finally got out to do my uh, video anyway. So we're walking Bessie, we're on Trenspanine Trail, down at Wordsborough. Brand new surface, soft spongy path. How many tyres, Gareth? About 16,500 tyres apparently helped resurface this path. Um, once upon a time, in running and life, I used to frequent down here quite a lot actually. So I used to park at the bottom and do eight mile um, to Silkston and back on the trail. It's a right slog uphill, and then it's an easy downhill uh, descent coming back from Silkston. Uh, they used to call it the Silkston drag. So they actually used um, horses and carts and stuff, and then engines and motors to pull um, the wagon uh, and the coal wagons and stuff um, up the trail uh, back in the day when Barnsley were a coal mine in town. Um, nice rubber surface. We've got little Bessie using it and she's adamant on going on the mud. Um, but yeah, nice nice place to be. Run on here twice this week. So we did a speed session Tuesday and then ran on here with Kai this morning. Um, which isn't too bad. Um, it's, but it's a good, a good long run venue um, in Barnsley. <laughs> uh, spent the morning uh, watching the Manchester Marathon anyway. And if you want to see what like running and life and training and all that sort of stuff means to people, go and stand at finish line or a marathon or any race that's local to you, um, and you'll definitely find out. Because um, like just seeing people celebrate, collapse, fall over the finish line, punch the air, scream, cry, emotions like just run true and raw, which yeah, it's class. And then there's some people who just automatically straight away get the phones out of the pocket, ring the mum dad boyfriend girlfriend um do whatever that they want to do um or they've run the full thing with earphones in which it's just a different audience isn't it but yeah what it means to people just to to run a marathon of all distances which is it's obviously it attracts a different audience to your local 5k 10k's half marathons as well um with a lot of people out there for different reasons and charities and running in memory or for someone or, and stuff like that which is quite cool um so a week out from london marathon um taper times in full swing started tapering on wednesday um just to get some well i've just got some miles in the legs this week i've not really done um i've done a cup a speed session wednesday and then a faster park run that i'll go into on Saturday as well um, but other than that it's been a nice and easy week full of jogging so Monday Monday morning 
went out it was my birthday monday so 10th of april just in case anyone doesn't know uh went to lady bower i was 29 on monday so last year in my 20s naomi's already 29 she's a couple of months older than me um so last year in my 20s went to lady bower with kai and ruby and naomi ruby were on the bike naomi did 10 mile me and kai did 10 mile uh just trotting around lady bower and derwent it is and we made it just in time just before the rain um got back to the car then went for some snap at the windmill cafe um for a, a birthday meal um and then um had, had some pizza in the evening and i ran five mile in the evening i believe can't actually remember some something like that anyway and then tuesday woke up nice and easy jog tuesday we're doing a wednesday speed session this week uh, to keep it a single speed session um so nice and easy jog tuesday morning um and then again same again tuesday evening um nothing too strenuous nothing too difficult um just getting miles in the legs and tootling around wednesday uh woke up again easy miles in the morning just jogging i was uh, delivering on the disability sports camps at work so full day out, like on my feet at work which yeah it's not too bad half the time just playing football anyway um so yeah wednesday morning easy miles in the legs and then wednesday evening came down to this beautiful surface that is energy sapping soft rubber spongy tarmac um and did a couple of mile warm up with with five of the lads and then uh, it were a four mile effort no it was a two mile effort out on the trail and then it was five by 60 seconds off 90 second jog recoveries um, and then it was one mile effort and then five by 60 seconds off 90 second jog recovery just getting some speed in the legs nothing too strenuous we didn't think it were going to be that far ended up being a 10 mile session um with a one and a half mile cool down but yeah enjoyed it nonetheless and yeah just got some <laughs> mile miles in the legs and ticking over not really going to change any fitness like this close to the marathon anyway so the, there isn't much point in pushing it's just about maintaining whatever gains that you have achieved over your last 12 16 24 weeks of training whatever you've done um and then thursday uh, Bess is just about to bolt it <laughs> uh, thursday woke up again legs felt a little bit tight but not as tight as they have done in previous weeks um but yeah just jogging in the morning with kai and then thursday evening um jogging again uh just getting through the motions nothing too strenuous nothing too difficult just keeping it uh miles in the legs friday um went out did seven and a half mile in the morning um just again nice and easy kept it to a single run on friday just mindful that that's how i run best on a friday um and then going into like a longer weekend and then this weekend we wanted to do a faster park run somewhere and a new letter, and a new letter. so we do the alphabet a little bit we don't focus on it but we kind of just it happens when it happens um so <laughs> went out to long eaton which is like nottingham way to do a faster park run which is flatter than hull and it's a different one to york as well so yeah went over to long eaton ended up um getting well it's about an hour's drive straight down the motorway got there roughly about half eight um went on a little recce of the course uh just to see what it was like and um yeah flat as anything like basically a canal towpath sort of thing but it bordered the canal uh, it was around a park it was two loops um set off and like straight away kicked did a 72 for the first 400 and then found out i was dicing with a lad who's targeting a 219 marathon next week at london um so he went and surged ahead i think he clocked 1546 
and I got 16.09. I think if I'd have known the course within like another time of me doing it, I probably would have PB'd and got under 16. It is definitely one to try again, um, like sometime further down the line and in the future. Naomi just wanted a breather on a bench and then decided to stand up because I've continued walking. Um, yeah, it is one to try again in the future. There's a bit where you like cross a little bridge um, fr through the part that were a bit tight that mentally I slowed down. And yeah, just dropped a little bit of time on the, the bridge. Bit sketchy. Uh, it weren't too slippy, but I've been speaking to other people that usually do long eating. They've said it can get slippy in places. But yeah, 16.09, it's like three seconds a mile off that glorious sub 16 that I've not actually done at a park run yet um, although I've done it in a 5k road race um, but yeah felt really good felt fresh didn't feel like I was gunning it all out but was it was good to just have an effort on a park run as well um, pr in February I got 16.04 at Hull um, and I'd say that that's a sign that form's returning um, from the February time as well Um, and then today woke up 15 mile nice and easy just to tape a long run set off just after the start of the Manchester Marathon got home um, just as the finish finishers were coming in like the winners um, quite a lot of like local good runners um, out there it was good trying to spot people as they were crossing the finish line that we know um, and Naomi's getting photos of them to send on to them because she gets proper into it you know um, yeah it is uh, so yeah it were quite a, good to watch it live on YouTube which is good for running as well when they stream it on YouTube but yeah tape a week I'll have done 90 mile this week um, just a, in a taper it's 10% less um, than what I've done in previous weeks yeah so 90 mile this week in my taper first of my taper week do do a 10 day taper uh, for the marathon um, and then this week I'll be slamming it right down um, so I'll be looking at 25% less by the end of the marathon um, so Monday to Saturday will probably be about 50 mile which uh, is quite a lot less um, in comparison to 100 and then my long run will be 26.2 and whatever I do around that um, on actual race day anyway uh, but yeah other than that quite a, a good week in terms of a taper it's just about getting your legs and your mind right and back into um, running and yeah so a taper is just about getting your mind and your body right and physically letting your re legs return from the full marathon mileage um, so yeah hydrating properly sleeping sleeping properly um, making sure that you constantly got a bottle, bottle of water in your hand some people obviously like electrolytes and all that sort of stuff um, in terms of fueling day before I'll be having a uh, a Morton 320 which I did um, for Yorkshire Marathon in Berlin last year um, and then on the morning of the marathon I'll be having another Morton 320 um, and maybe a caffeine shot um, on the start line which I have done in every single race got to be conscious not to have too much caffeine because it can make it good at toilet um, but just making sure that you fuel right you fuel correct correctly and stick with what you know don't start anything new don't start anything different just because some guy on youtube tells you to do it um and yeah stick with what you know this morning i wore some new marathon shorts by saw that naomi got me for my birthday um just to test them out and see if they're chafed in the wrong places or anything like that uh, yeah so just about sticking with what you know um, make sure that your diet's right no like foods that are going to unsettle you Naomi's famously lactose intolerant tells everybody um, so yeah making sure that she personally doesn't have any dairy this week that's going to upset her stomach or anything new or different and yeah just 
going into it with your right sort of mindset you'll know your paces that you've been training at that you kind of predicted it it might help by looking at manchester marathon this morning seeing people that finish usually around you to give you a little bit of confidence of that's where you're going to end up um and you know that you've done everything right um this week as well i've spent a lot of time i've had an extra 10 10 mile less so an extra hour in my bank um and we have gone to bed early so nailed my eight and a half hours sleep i think naomi got nine and a half hours last night but her garmin still says she slept poor um but yeah spent a little bit of time yesterday whilst naomi were swimming um looking at some different training plans and different training theories in terms of the marathon so looking at like canova's training theory um and then robert hawkins who's callum hawkins's dad and his training theories that he's learned a lot from canova yeah and, and like looking at the double threshold days and all that sort of stuff that the inga britsons rave on about um and then looking at as well an inter interesting thing that i read around the enduring marathon runner and the fast marathon runner and how they are two different types of people and saying really there's only two types of marathon runners and that is an enduring marathon runner or a fast marathon runner and where do you fall in that sort of cat category i know for a fact that i'm more of an enduring runner um, and my paces and my races get be better as they go longer um like my 5k and 10k is not as great on paper as what my marathon time has been um and not really got a, a speed in my legs and i do come into el elements later on in races and in runs uh, and much prefer slogging it out on a fast tempo your long reps and all that sort of stuff rather than hitting the 400s and the 200s and the the 800s uh, but yeah that were quite a, an interesting piece i'll try and find a screen grab on it so people can read it uh, but it was from a, a seminar by robert hawkins as well but yeah it, it's interesting in looking at what affects people in training so it might be that i've learned something myself from this block of marathon training uh, that i can take into an autumn marathon later in the year um, which i'll be doing berlin again and probably yorkshire just as a a total round to see what happens after berlin and as a backup um but yeah a week out from london marathon um we'll be traveling down on friday collecting as numbers on friday um i've just thrown a couple of people that i know that's doing london marathon into a group chat a couple of lads that we train with to see if we want to get for some food after um on sunday uh which would be quite good and we are coming back monday as well so make a, a bit of a longer weekend of it um over the marathon weekend in london it is quite a big weekend and it's busy everywhere you look people have got garmin watches on um and they're always in like the lycra uh jogging leggings or whatever after the marathon recovery tights and all that sort of stuff but yeah so yeah it's just one of them i've spent about well i've been doing i think it's 16 episodes of these now so since the turn of the year um my marathon base probably started percy pud back end of november beginning of december anyway um in 2022 so yeah it's always a long time coming when you you finally cross that marathon finish line but it's not just the marathon that comes from marathon training uh, you learn a lot about your body learn about a lot about what your body can tolerate and hopefully you've done your stepping stones along the way such as your little 10ks your half marathons your 10 milers your 5ks so that even if you don't achieve something on marathon day you still achieve something in the long run and in the bigger picture as well um and you've put your body through a lot and yeah it's after you got to focus on your, your recovery you will lose strength during the marathon race itself um your body will have had to tolerate with quite a lot of abuse thrown of it thrown at it um on race day so yeah focus on your recovery in the week after the marathon um and take it all in just so that you can allow your body to then push again um whenever you choose to tow the line next time um 
but yeah thank you for listening to cookies rambles next week will be a little bit different um i will be racing london i'll not be doing it with my gopro uh i'm not a professional youtuber so i'll be filming in and around the race probably collecting the number and all that sort of stuff like i did in berlin uh naomi's going to be running london um sure i've mentioned that before so it'd be interesting to see how she gets on as well uh in london she's using it a little bit as a stepping stone towards lanzarote ironman um so she's not all in but she will be as soon as she toes the line and puts a number on her chest uh we'll see what happens there but yeah <laughs> other than that thanks for listening to this week's cookies rambles on the walk instead of on the run um i have let you down because there are a pair of knickers on one of these trees this morning and we've not been able to spot them today but yeah cheers for listening and i'll see you next week in the capital um after london marathon bye got a little bit distracted we will record this video eventually um we're just uh on way to costa um going to get a coffee and we watched manchester marathon for like until four hour 45 guys finished um and naomi's planting trees on my car and thinks that it's a little bit funny definitely don't drive like this with bessie on me like fever i was pulling a god awful